Hi guys, so it's Tuesday and I just thought I'd film the aftermath of this video and also guys, do you like this makeup look? I've literally, it's half ten and I probably need to start speaking quieter actually now. Um, oh, my forehead looks so big, like I swear my forehead's grown. Um, yeah, I've been filming and I've literally just put milk, milk makeup on for filming this video and I'm loving the eyeshadow. So, obviously it's now Christmas Eve when you're watching this. But hopefully this was, I think this is the makeup look that I decided I'm going to go for. Um, so hopefully you saw that yesterday. Yes, no, Friday. Yes, yesterday you would have seen this and it's my Christmas day look. But a lot of my lipsticks come off. Look, because um, I've just been filming a my try and foods video, which should have gone up on Wednesday. And I am just thought I'd quickly show you the aftermath. Um, yeah. Um, if you didn't see it, I'll link it below because it's so funny to watch because some of the faces I make um, and pretty much don't like any of the traditional ones. It was actually my first time ever trying um, mince pies, Christmas cake, brandy butter, all the traditional stuff which I've never tried before. Also, hopefully later on in the vlog, I'm going to try a Christmas pudding because basically I did explain in the video, but um, I couldn't try Christmas pudding when I was filming it because I might quite broken that day and it would have took too long to steam it. Um, so hopefully I'll try it later on in the vlog, but I can pretty much tell you already. I don't think I'm going to like it. I'm absolutely digging this eyeshadow. I'm loving it. Like, why can't the day have just started already? I'm loving it. So yeah, this is the aftermath of them. Um, filming so just so you know what it looked like i got my lights that's why it's in good lighting i got some food on the floor laid it all in boxes and yeah pretty much all the food i don't really like apart from the cobra and brandy butter on here and um, yeah it all looks a bit disgusting didn't it because it's uh, all half eaten but that is what i'm filming looks like and the aftermath of it and obviously because i have all like my lighting in my room um in the camera i have to set it up every single time i want to use it so and that's every day this week so it's a bit of a hassle um yeah cool i'm gonna go because this i have a feeling this vlog is gonna be long and i really need to tidy my room tonight because it's an absolute tip last day of school tomorrow and i'm so freaking excited i actually work after i go to school so we're finishing school like half 12 uh, so that means i get to finish work at three because i can start earlier so i'm super excited for this oh, i'm loving this makeup i love this makeup so much um i don't actually often say that i love makeup so much and i actually have never like red eyeshadow has been on trend for like a year at least and i've never really i've never bought it until the sofax revolution palette and now i'm loving it i can literally see what the hype is Anyway, cool, bye, see you in the next clip. So it's first day, I finally finished school. I finished yesterday and I actually finished in the afternoon, so that was nice. Um, but then as soon as I got home, I went to sleep and I literally napped all evening. Um, so I'm really sorry that the video didn't go up on Wednesday, but it means you got two uploads on Thursday, so win-win kind of. Um, and yeah, and I woke up this morning uh, with my period. So that explains why I napped a lot. And then I didn't wake up until quarter to one um i literally woke that's the time now i literally woke up about 10 minutes ago so that's not good but when i'm on my period i sleep a lot and i feel ill which is what i feel now so i've got so many things to do today and i'm really late starting so it's going to be a super busy day i'm filming the last of my christmas videos that hopefully you would have seen on thursday friday and yesterday saturday um so yeah, super busy day um but i've just got to get cracking a bit so i'm going to quickly show you my advent calendar on monday i got I feel like hair in my mouth. Oh, there it is. Um, I got a black liquid liner, which is really nice actually because um, in the one I got in 2015, I think I ended up getting like four pencil liners, but this time I've ha already had one pencil eyeliner so far in one liquid liner. So I think it's a really nice mismatch. Uh, mismatch? No, match. No, is that the right word? I don't know. A really nice mix of stuff. Um, I don't wear eyeliners all that lot, but it's nice to get a new liquid liner actually because I feel like liquid liners dry up really fast. Um, so the last time I probably worn one, it's probably already dried up. So that's nice. Yesterday I got a beauty blender type sponge, um, and it's got like the number seven engraved. It's gonna focus. Really wish I had like a little remote control so I didn't have to touch the screen to focus my camera. Um, there it is, you've got the engrave and then you've got two flat sides. Not used it yet, but it feels really nice actually. Um, so that's something really different. Um, 
yeah i really like that because i actually use sponge to apply my face makeup and then today i got another tool and it's another mini makeup brush a turquoise one now it's kind of a blusher powder type brush but oh my god it's so soft i never thought i'd say a brush is softer than real techniques ones but this is is it's incredibly nice so i'm really happy with my advent calendar it's quarter past seven and i've not actually done literally nothing today all i've done is edit and upload my trying christmas food video which if you haven't seen that i uploaded it about 3 p.m on thursday and um, so go check that out which is obviously today for me but it's not for you because you're watching and it's christmas eve which is like me so much that the fact for you guys watching this now it's christmas tomorrow or maybe you're watching our boxing day and christmas all event it's such a crazy thought to think that even today like it's four days like it's just gone so fast but yeah i've not got a lot done today i've not got a video uploaded which i wanted to I've not got a video filmed and it's because of my period. <laughs> I've been feeling so ill and I've literally been in bed. I just, I physically can't, like, I've been feeling so sick and I've been getting the worst pains. And I suffer quite bad with period stuff like that. Um, so if it's too much information for some of you guys out there, but I feel like it's my day, that's what's happened. Like, So I'm really upset that the things that I really wanted to do today didn't happen, I just, I want to, do you know what I mean? I want to feel better. I don't want to like over pressurise myself to do filming and editing and uploading as much as I love to do it. Like I just, I don't feel up to do it today. But it's Friday and it's currently 12 o'clock and I'm feeling quite a lot better from yesterday. I just finished filming my ginger hat bread house video. If you want to see the final result, go check the vlog out. Um, not the vlog, you're watching the vlog. Go check out the video that was uploaded on Friday and it should have been uploaded for 7 o'clock. Um, but I'm going to show you kind of the aftermath. So I broke it all up because it was, you know, it was falling apart anyway. And then there was a lot of icing left. So I just randomly squeezed all the icing on. But it's kind of a glimpse of what it was. And that has just got a load of, this tablecloth has got a load of mess in it. That needs to be washed up because it's got icing and sweets everywhere. And that's kind of how I set up my video. Um, but yeah, the kit was from... Tesco's and it was okay apart from it all fell apart but that was probably my fault because I needed to put a bit more icing on the sides and I probably put too much sweets on so it was heavy but I didn't do that bad of a job and I've already had a bite and oh my god it's so sickly it's nice but it's so sickly so yeah that was that and I'm now about to go out to town to meet my friend at Costa so I've got home from Costa and town with my friend it was very nice we had a really good catch up because we hadn't last seen each other since the summer so we had a lot to catch up on I also I went to Superdrug and got a few bits. I got a new Tropical Dry Shampoo to last me over the Christmas period. I got a new Nivea Moisturiser. It is the pink one for dry skin. Again, to last me over the Christmas period. What else did I get? Oh, I also got a new collection concealer because I've had like four on the go for the past like six months. But they've all like literally ran out now. And they're all oxidising in my face because they're so old. So, got a new fresh new one. And then three new products are kind of new. Um, I basically use a translucent powder for under my eyes and kind of here so you can get a good contour. Um, but the one that I usually use from e.l.f. is running out. And in my local town, they don't have a e.l.f. in store. Um, so the only other white powder that they had was from Barrier. I've used it already. I mean, a white powder is just a white powder in it to do the job. It looks all fine. I then wanted a the Maybelline contour stick but they only had like the one with the highlighter as well and I didn't want that one because basically one of my friends from Milton Keynes who you've probably seen in a video before last time I went to see her she had it on and it looks so good because all the contours I've ever had aren't for cool like aren't for pale skin but the one she had on like was cool toned and it really looked good it weren't orange at all so I wanted to buy it but didn't have it so when I go over town tonight um so like main town i'm gonna try and see if that super drug has them but so i tried out a collection one i'm so annoyed because i tested out the shades and then i kind of like picked one from the back so i didn't get used to one if you get what i mean and yeah it was put in the wrong place so i got medium instead of light so this one is actually quite orangey toned um and it doesn't really work well on my cheeks but the place it does work well is on my nose so I've contoured my nose a little bit. Um, so yeah, because I've never really contoured my nose before because I couldn't because I didn't have a nose stick, a nose stick, no, just a stick to do it. Um, so it was only three pound, I think, and it's good for one purpose. Now the put I'm a bit disappointed about is Maybelline Brow Drama. Now I've had that. I've had like the same bottle for like five years and it's still going, but like the product is pretty much really dry and it doesn't really do a lot. Um 
so I thought, you know, I'll get a new one, and I've gone, got it in dark brown this time, um, but when I last got it a few years ago, it was like £4, it's now £6, the thing I'm really annoyed about is, it feels dried up already, like, it's new, and it feels dried up, and there's not a lot put it in it, so I'm so frustrated about that, but we'll just have to see how time goes on, I have put it on now, but I mean, the main brow thing that I did was my pencil, so this isn't really done a lot, hopefully it'll just set it in place, and then it's got its money's worth, so yeah, I'm just kind of now downloading, um, some files on this camera to my laptop so I've got some space to film because I'm just about to film my top 20 Christmas TV shows which went up last night if you haven't seen it um I'd, cause I'd definitely say go watch it because if you're stuck to what on TV watched on TV this Christmas um I tell you all about it in that video um so yeah I'm just quickly filming that and I don't think my gingerbread video probably went up on time on Friday so I'm sorry about that um but yeah I'm quickly gonna film that get ready and then I'm going to go out this evening so it is Saturday, it is Christmas Eve, Eve, I've not even said that today. It's currently half seven and I, yes I haven't vlogged today. Um, Cafe Rouge yesterday was really nice. I had the cockle van, <laughs> that name, I am childish. Um, but it was so, so, so nice. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend Cafe Rouge. And they also, so I got a 40% off voucher for the meal. Um, oh, and I had a black cherry and almond mocktail as well. And, oh my God, it was so nice. So the meal only came to like 10 pound, which is incredible. Um, and also like with the bill they gave us like a 50% off out shirt and you've got like two months to use it So that's really good. So definitely go there if you've never been there before um, And yeah, so all day today I've just been editing two videos that hopefully you would have seen yesterday I've just filmed my Christmas Day makeup look and I'm also about to edit it and have dinner and tidy and clean my room And that is literally all what I'm gonna do today. Um, so hopefully you saw my Christmas Day makeup look yesterday It is this look here. So it's just red eyes and a nude lip. It's actually the very first clip in this vlog, the makeup look I was wearing, that's the look. Um, because I liked it so much, I thought, yeah, that's my Christmas Day makeup look. Um, so if you're sat here watching Christmas Eve and you're struggling what to watch, go check that out, I'll link it below. Um, it's just a very simple look where really, if you don't even have the palettes that I use, you just need a red, a brown slash grey shade and a highlighting shade, that is literally it. I'm just going to really show you what I got in my number 7 advent calendar for the past two days. Um, I also didn't show you what I got on Tuesday for some reason. Um, I just got this lip gloss. It's kind of like a nudie, peachy, pale, salmon, pinky shade. Um, I tried it on. I don't like it on its own, but I like it on top of other stuff. So that's super great, just to give a nice tint of shine. Um, and then yesterday, I got another nail polish, and it was just this teal colour. Sorry that none of them are focusing. Um, but it's really cute, because... Considering how many nail polishes I own, I don't own a teal shade. And it is in the shade teal, so <laughs> very basic naming. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to try that out because I really like number seven uh, nail polishes. And then today I got another eyeshadow, which I was super happy about, but I didn't expect another one. Um, but it's in the shade mink and it is a glittery, shimmery, silvery colour, if I can open it with the one hand. It's probably not going to focus. Um but you can kind of get an idea it is just a basic it's quite a deep silver but kind of when you blend it in it can just go really out to a highlighting shade so it's maybe even well to wear as a highlighter so just not on your eye oh my god so this is why i don't wear my hair up like look it looks like i've got no hair when i do that because it always falls down i probably need to get some tighter hair bubbles you know when you have your favorite hair bubble and all you do is use the hair bubble until it literally is so loose and that is what i'm doing right now so it is christmas eve happy christmas eve um it is currently half 11 and i've been up pretty much since about half nine i think and i've just been giving my room a massive good tidy and hoover so i will show it you i've got to be careful because i've got some presents out that haven't been wrapped just look oh beautiful yes i literally haven't cleaned my room in about two months i know it sounds disgusting but that's literally the truth <laughs> so it needed a good clean but it's done and i've done a few pamper stuff i'm just about to do oh i don't like the sliding just about to do a lip mask what is it i look so pale man you need to find some better lighting. That's a bit better. Um, from Primark, and it's a lip care cranberry moisturising gel patch. Now it does say not to put on chap lips, so I don't really get the point of it because if it's meant to moisturise your lips, then surely it's going to be when your lips are chapped. Um, but I'm going to use it anyway, so we'll try that out. I've been having lots of thoughts every single day. 
oh my gosh, my hair's getting worse and worse. So I had that mask on, lip mask on for 30 minutes and it didn't really do much. That shiny stuff is Vaseline. Um, they kind of feel a bit more moisturised, but I wouldn't pay £1.50 for it again. Plus, it was very unclear, the instructions, because when I took it out of the pack, like, I ripped open the top bit, there was this gel thing that was ripped in half, and then I think that turned out to be the mask that I put on, so it was kind of ripped, and then also it said, make sure you put the shiny side down on your mouth, like on your lips. But because it was see-through, I couldn't tell which side was shiny, so I kind of did a bit of both. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's done much. Um, it didn't really taste like cranberry. Um, but yeah, it was a little gimmick, I suppose. And now I'm going to do a nose pore strip, because I literally haven't done one probably since the summer. I've got my nose strip on, and this is what it looks like. It's always, like, too big for me, so I kind of, like wrap that in because i feel like if you strip the nose out onto the side it's just going onto your cheeks and i've kind of got spots where the mask isn't made for if you get what i mean so yeah i kind of stick it on weird just to make sure it covers my whole nose vlogmas exactly where i started the week one vlogmas and i'm just going to quickly tell you what i did today so since i last spoke to you i had a lovely roast dinner um so and i'm going to get a roast dinner tomorrow roast dinner is my favorite dinner if you didn't know or if you can't tell um what else i play countdown with my sister um i've washed my hair i've now straightened it but i am going to curl it later because i want it curled for tomorrow um i've had a bath I've just kind of done really bits around the house and homey stuff and in my number 7 advent calendar today I got a nail polish in the shade bronzed gold. That's going to focus. Way that. And I've actually just painted my nails now and yeah I really love it. Um, It was, I'll just focus this again. Yeah, I only needed two coats, and usually for like shimmery, glittery nail polishes, I need a lot more, so I'm really happy with that. I've just watched the EastEnders Christmas Eve episode, I'm now watching the Michael McIntyre's Christmas Big Show, and then I'll be watching Not Going Out, and then I'll be going to bed. But it's kind of, I've got it delayed, so I'm going to be going in bed quite a little bit later than I wanted to. But I am finally in the festive mood, since I woke up this morning, I've been getting feeling more and more festive, festive festive um and i'm super excited now so i probably know i won't get much sleep as usual um oh also i've got christmasy pajamas on i feel like i'm a little elf just look oh yeah they're actually harry potter ones um but you can't to be fair it's just a few little stuff uh but the rest is stripy and i look like an elf so i feel really christmasy Talking about Harry Potter, um, on Christmas Eve, me and my sister were allowed to like what, open one little present, and I'm so happy with what I got because I've always wanted one of these. Um, it is a Hufflepuff key ring. Look how nice it is. That is so nicely made. I really like that because basically on my keys at the minute, I have like a Hogwarts emblem, but it's got all the houses on. Uh, but I've always really wanted a Hufflepuff one, um, so I'm really happy with that. And it matches my pyjamas, so you know. So I was originally going to try and get this edited and uploaded for Christmas Eve, but I just decided I didn't want to rush my day. I've been editing and filming for the whole month, and I just kind of wanted to rest a bit more on Christmas Eve. So hopefully you're seeing this on either Boxing Day or the 27th. Uh, so if you did, I hope you, so if you are, no, I hope you had a really, really good Christmas. I'm super excited for tomorrow. So, so, so excited, but I'm just so sad it's gone really fast as well, because after tomorrow it's gonna be over. Um, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow you'll be seeing, or today, or whenever this goes up, there will be soon a What I Got For Christmas haul video. It sounds weird, because I'm saying that like I've already done it. But it's not. But it's in the future for me. But it's present for you. So, yeah. I'm really happy with how my Christmas uploads have gone this year. As you know, last year I did four videos and it kind of went out the window. The year before I attempted Vlogmas but then the vlogs ended up going up in January. But this year I'm so happy. I've stuck to my plan kind of. I mean they didn't all go up exactly the day I wanted to. But I've managed to get them all up before Christmas which is what I wanted. So I'm actually feel quite proud of myself. Which might sound stupid but like I've stuck to my schedule. And yeah. That. and also thank you guys for watching and supporting me this christmas um just i really hope you enjoyed all the videos and yeah just thank you for the whole year in general thank you for watching and if you do want to catch up on all my other videos that you haven't seen they are linked below um remember to like subscribe 
and I will see you in my next video. Christmas is tomorrow, Christmas is tomorrow.